Hello, I'm doing a colour review today, I haven't done one for a while, my roots need doing. They're really quite faded now. I usually use um, Ultra Indigo by Iron. I'll put a picture up. Um, it's my favourite, really vibrant for the first couple of shampoos, then fades quite quickly afterwards. But I don't mind this faded colour, it's not too bad. But it's looking patchy, which drives me insane. So um, I thought, I haven't done a colour review for a while, let's try something different. I've gone for Colour Freedom, which I found in Superdrug. Um, can't remember the price, I will put it up here once I find it. And um, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. It's quite a big tube, but I don't like it, that's a bit of a bummer. But um, I think that's huge, really, compared to my normal size one that I use. So um, I now have to whoops, wash my hair <laughs> and um, apply it. Right now, I've just shampooed the area and not conditioned it that I'm going to colour, and I've got foil just to keep it separate. So, just going to put it straight on there. Now, they give you quite a detailed pamphlet with this, which I was rather impressed with. It shows all the other colours that come uh, in this range, and um, not only that, they're like actually a lot of other temporary fantasy colours, they do have a pastelizer, which is great if you sort of want more of the mermaidy shades, lovely pastel lilacs, pale blues, pale minty greens. And um, I thought that was really quite useful actually, because sometimes you just get a few notes on the back. And if you're new to all this, it's great to have some handy tips, like putting Vaseline on. Um, and gloves. It's worth using gloves. I never do. I just I do colour all day every day. I can't work with gloves. My hands are too small to be honest. The gloves are either either too long and just or if they're not too long getting in the way, they just cut off my circulation if they're that small. So we just finish this off. My hair is pre-lightened, which might be quite obvious actually, but I'll just say that just in case. Um, but it just had the old Ion Indigo colour on there before. Richard Hall had, I don't know, about five washes on it, five shampoos. I always try and use, well I do always use a sulfate free shampoo because not having salt, it does help the colour stay in. Obviously shampooing your hair with cooler water if you can bear it. Right, that's had a real good soaking. Right, okay, so now it says to leave it for half an hour to get a vibrant shade. So I'm gonna stick to the rules, do exactly what it says. So, um, looking lush. I'm now gonna go off and have a cup of tea, wait for that to take and rinse it out as instructed. I actually failed to notice you get a um, sachet with some gloves in the Colour Freedom packet, so that's really useful. I could have used that. Also, to go back and what I said about the Vaseline, do not put Vaseline on your hair. What I meant was um, just put it around your hairline, in your ears, around the back if you're doing the whole head, um, because that would just help with staining. I mean, I'm using a piece of foil there, so I didn't bother. Sometimes I do, um, but on this occasion I didn't because 
I just use the foil as a barrier between my skin and the colour, so um, that should be fine. So uh, back to my cup of tea. There's the finished result. Definitely purple. But I have a tad more cranberry than the colour I'm used to with the ion. But it's got really good coverage. I didn't get any stains or anything like that. It's a cloudy day so the light keeps coming in and out but that's the final result then. So there we have it, the application of Freedom, Colour Freedom rather, um, by Knight and Wilson in the colour Indigo Night. Um, what I shall do, I'll do another video um, every time I shampoo it. I shall maybe do, I don't know, three or four shampoos over the course of the next couple of weeks um, so we can judge see what the fade is like. I um, always think that's useful when I'm trying out another colour. It's like when they do these rainbow colours, they look great, but do they look like Oh, a mishmash after a few shampoos. We never get to see that. So um, I've done that in a few other whoops, colour reviews and I think I'll do that on this one. So um, that's the end of this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them. I'll answer them. Um, and I haven't had a sherry. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. <laughs>